and whomever it may or may not be, this is a good department. And our goal is just to keep taking it into the future. Look, Fire Rescue introducing the five finalists to become the new chief of their department. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Mudd. And I'm Lauren Motter. A public reception tonight at the Civic Center, and KMAX Cameron Mendoza spoke with all five candidates to see what they bring to the table. Yeah, Brian and Lauren, there was no doubt each candidate knows what a department the city of Lubbock already has, but they want someone who can take that department even further as the city continues to grow. 400 plus sworn firefighters, Lubbock Fire Rescue, we have 19 stations, soon to have 20. All the staff, the newest resources, and a highly ranked department. If Lubbock Fire Rescue is in the top 2% of fire departments in the entire country. But they're missing one thing. We want somebody to take us into that future, to keep pushing us towards that. With the city growing and the department gaining traction, the new chief of Lubbock Fire Rescue has to have ways of moving the department forward even further. The first candidate, no stranger to the department, Rob Canist, who's the current interim chief of LFR. The fire chief job uh, through the budget is to make sure that the needs of the department are given to both city management and city council. Uh, it's not definitely not a blank check, right? Those are the taxpayers who are working hard to pay taxes uh, to provide those things. Brent Shanklin out of the city of Arlington agreeing it's the chief who will work with the city and the citizens to figure out what the department needs. Obviously be a collaborative effort. Um, fire department has to vet their needs through the city and then the citizens have to agree that that's actually a need. Richard Stewart out of Irvine and Kyle Mills out of Frisco say they like to prepare a plan while taking a closer look at the department. But again, I think it's going to be uh, getting here and taking all that in and figuring out exactly what's needed before. Growth is always challenging. Uh, whether it's capital assets with fire stations or hiring enough people to fill those and train those to fill those fire stations. So there are challenges with growth, but I, I, to me, the, frankly, this city and this fire department can handle it just fine. Robin Bergerson out of Waco says growth will come solely from what they're there to do, putting out fires, but they have to have all the right things in place. I think it's important as fire chief to match the resources to the demand. So as the city grows, it would uh, naturally, we would want to add either equipment or personnel uh, to match the needs and minimize response times. They're coming in, whomever it may or may not be. This is a good department. And our goal is just to keep taking it into the future. And each candidate expressed how grateful they were to be considered for such a top tier facility. Feedback was given to the city on each candidate, which Atkinson is looking over. The city will name the recommended finalists as soon as possible.